so fast and so easy. You get down there and try to do it, it don't work that easy. But he can. But I know what I'm doing. I might come home with glue and all Yeah. In my pocket. How did he get in my pocket? He can work the whole day without I know. He don't, he don't even get it on his hands. He don't need gloves. I don't say he's walking the gloves. And you'll be using it. You can take a horse that's never had anything like that on his foot and he don't move anymore like that. And he knows how to do it. He needs some fresh buskery name. He just he just naturally cleans that thing while he's there. He just cleans it up. Yep. He could do it without doing all of that, but he don't. <laughs> up your next batch with uh, fiberglass and glue because that stuff shrinks and they will be laying the next day. Well, if you put it on one shot, there's a very good chance you'll be back within two days, probably the next day.
in the summertime, if it's brutal hot, I go to Ikea, I don't know if you got them down here, just a cutting board, a fairly thick cutting board, and I'll get it uh, chilled and nice. Because when you put this glue on something very hot, it starts setting. And it'll just give you the right amount of time. Well, he's got a bit of a, a cavity there on most horses because this is the first time. Of them don't need it. You just got a spooky for this horse. He smells that barbecue. He's got horses' legs. Exactly. <laughs> so what if I got he heard Mitch talk yeah, about where he gets his cadaver yeah, legs. Right. <laughs> Watch every move he makes. Because when he gets through, he won't have no glue on his fingers at all. It'll all be on that horse's foot. Because he's a master at it. It's easy on him and it's easy on the horse and he never has to reprimand the horse for anything. They just stand right there, just like they enjoy it, taking a nap. You make it look way too easy. Well, it looks like you should pay me to do this. <laughs> But after several years, you got every move down. Now. When, when did you tell me you started going on shoes here? 96. That was an interesting year because it all just started. We had uh, uh, Lucas kind of got on board. Yep. And he had, we glued two for him. Little filly, two year old filly named Cash Run. And I think it's Classic Cat. And the other horse is Artex. Win three Breeders' Cup races in one day. God. It's crazy. Is it's that absolutely all? crazy. Only won three in one day. Artex, we did him up front. Oh, that blacksmith was pissed. <laughs> and it wasn't that he was sore, but his feet were hot and he had a pulse. Ernie Paranac owned him. He said, Ian, because we glued other horses. He said, would you mind gluing them? I mean, beautiful feet. Yeah. And all we did was elevate them. Pulse went away. We're down at, at uh, Gulfstream. And he says, what about the hind end? And his bulbs are on the ground. Oh. And I said, boy, Ernie, that is one massive change. This horse is going to go all the way kin and you're changing angles. Everything's getting changed. The rider, he don't want to change them. Ernie says, do it. <laughs> so we changed them. The next day he goes to the track, the rider comes off. How do you feel? He says, and he was, he was, he was mad, and rightfully so. You're at the Breeders' Cup and you make this huge change two yeah. days before. Yeah. He said he moves completely different behind now. Yeah. Sound? He says, no, he's perfect. It just, 
I don't know what's going on. So it strong. feels so different to me. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. It's so strong, yeah. And our tax was, and he had a big long toe, and he'd always break out of the gate slow, and then he'd come running. He was a monster horse. And that day, when that gate broke, he was right with it. Ding, ding. He equaled the track record. And it was <laughs> when you did the back end, what did you do? We actually put on, back then, we put on the, uh, what do they call it? Remember the World Racing Plate? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they had them hind ones, yeah. so the yeah. toes were kind of round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's what we went with. Yeah. But any horse I do behind, it helps them so much. Oh, yeah. But it's it's not a lameness issue, it's an action issue. It's, yeah. Yeah. How they move. Exactly. And it's like the standard band we did. Uh, it was a hoof neck that was here. There it is. What do you need? That's hoof neck. That's the trotter we did uh, all, all around the and what yeah, the yeah, difference yeah. it made for that part of it. Did you have beetle tape back in those days? Oh, yeah. Did you? That was the first thing we did, coming from standard bread background. I wouldn't glue shoes on. I said, we're better off bumping walls. I can give them more wall and get every, elevate them, get them off their sole. And it was one guy had a horse, perfect barefoot. I bumped the walls, there's no way. Send, send this around, you feel so that, and that stays off the whole time, it never. Hard and soft. He said glue off. So it just stays soft on the sole. It must have been the clinch, and you know, you get the odd horse, you just yeah. Yeah. sensitive in the feet. Yeah. Well, you exactly. know, we went to DNL and bought glue this morning. They had it up there, actually. Where? Uh, DNL down here. In Aubrey? Yeah. What, is, what, what, what is it you call them straight when you buy them in the store? And uh, DC. Yeah. What, what do they call them? How do you know when the glue's set enough? Though? I use my fingernail. This stuff's set. It's hard. Yeah, it's set. Definitely. Is it still hot? Mm, yeah, no, it's kind of, it's feel going it. back. It's feel start it. to cool. Feel it, so you know what it yep. feels. But it's, just use your fingernail. If it's punky, if your fingernail slices in, then... And that, and that horse will be fine, right? As long as he doesn't do like this, if he'll just stand on it, he'll be fine. It'll set up really good, just like that. With him standing on it, it'll be fine. Is he going to believe the other one? Mm -hmm. Take money. Did you nail that one? Yep. That's a razor shoot. Yeah. Are you okay, Ian? Yeah. You need him turned or anything? Yeah, we're good. Most nail it, yeah, but he's using his, uh, his technology for the glue on. Yeah. <laughs> Very, yeah, real tight. Okay. With, with the razor shoes, so yeah. I, I go real tight. Yeah. Because, because that shoe moves a little bit, I've never seen a... Need style jack anymore? No. They might for behind, I don't know what they're going to do back there. When you're talking about this, Well, that's if you want to elevate them. Yeah, you take a, another piece of that rubber, go right to the back, and when you stretch it, it'll taper right down to the toe. So you, you're just gonna lift them up eighth of an inch. It's all it is is it just you set, don't squeeze your shoe down, just set it on there, and then mold your glue in. Your glue, all you're doing is you're adding more glue. Your wedge is actually the glue.
I was up at, I had no idea it could even happen. I was up at a farm, and it was one that we needed to trank standard bread, which is kind of odd, because most of them are pretty good. And this kid comes in low, and straight in, and hit the, hit the artery going to the brain. Ooh. Wow, I've never seen that before. Dropped in like a shot. You ain't shit. He's flailing away. Oh, he just dropped it around. Yeah, he's yeah. shaking like a dog. No, no. It's over. Oh, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. like you cut the throat. Watch your foot back Yeah. 